it was, and we knew it. You know, we told them going to start the first one we to kind of dictate it. But uh, even as bad as it was, we got ourselves back in. And um, that's what is so awesome about this group, their heart and determination to not quit. And that's how they've been all year, and they did it again tonight. We just didn't get a couple of breaks here and there when we got it to three. Um, but I, I guarantee you we gave them a better game than they thought they were going to get when they came in, and especially after the end of the first quarter. Laura, you called a timeout very early on in the second quarter. What was the change? That's what that's what triggered that 18-3 run. You never know with these kids. They, they just we, we guarded a little bit better, but we were more aggressive going to the basket. Um, we just got back on our heels, and they're too good to do that too. You know, some teams have done that to us this year, and, and we've been able to get back and take the lead and kind of knock them back on their heels, and they're too good to do that. You can't spot them that many points. And I, I'm just very happy that we battled like we did um, to get back in it. Third quarter, you were within one twice, and same player happens to hit a shot the other end within and, seconds. And one of them was off of a free throw, and we had two kids back. I, I can't <laughs> explain that. We, we knew this coming in. You know, I, I, I said we, if we could hold them in the 50s, we'd have a chance. And we held them in the 50s, but we just let our chances go. But we did have opportunities. You said this year that if you lose, you're fine with it if you get beat instead of not losing. That um, a little bit of both. I, I thought that they, we, first quarter was a lot of a lot of them and a lot of us. It was combined. You know, I'm, I'm, you have to give them credit because that's what they do to everybody. Um, but then the, the next three quarters, I thought we responded really well. You just can't spot you're not going to get to the Elite Eight and, and spot a team 15 points or whatever and, and have the have the opportunity. Christiana McKenzie had really good games when, when Rachel was shut down. Did you comment on their performance a little? Um, I thought McKenzie was really – she settled in and wanted to go to the basket and wanted the ball, and that's what we have to have. Um, she has to want the ball, and she's got to be aggressive doing that. Christiane got on the boards hard like she should have. I thought we had good looks. You know, the first quarter and throughout, and I couldn't get it to fall. Um, and, again, that's them making us go at a pace that we weren't used to going necessarily. But uh, we, we had our chances. Um, we, we did. I thought we had some good shots. We gave them out of their 50. Some had – half of them had to be transition. And we knew that coming in. But taking that away is a whole different story. Um, I think both teams were tired. You know, when we got it to three, I think both teams were tired. But uh, – they just got a couple of better looks and, and knocked them down than what we did. They able to handle the pressure after the first quarter? We did. I, I thought we did. I We didn't turn it over. I don't think we turned it over that much in the press as much as we did giving up transition. And then you combine the two of them, and that's trouble. I know we did a couple of times, but not like you would think. And that's why I said it was different than Rock Island. Um, but... Just didn't sure. have it tonight. Just looking ahead now, just, you know, to get a game like this, you know, Rock Island game helped you with this game, and just this whole uh, postseason, how much is it going to help you next year? Uh, it, it depends on these guys. You know, we, we're you you compare us to most teams south of I eighty, we're pretty good. You know, you get into the Chicago, and, and we're probably middle of the pack up there, and, and we have to be able to get over that hump. Um, I thought we competed tonight really well with them. But you, you've got to be able to do it for 32 minutes. You can't spot good Chicago teams like that and uh, expect to get a win. For a lot of unknowns this season, oh. heck of a season. Great season. Great season. We told the kids they, they have to – I'm sure they're disappointed tonight, um, but when you step back and look at the whole picture and what these kids accomplished and uh, what a great achievement to even get here. Um, I'm not into the moral victories, but, you know, what a great season. It really was unexpected. Great group of kids to work with. Very, very blessed to have had the opportunity. Um, these two seniors led us really well. And uh, just one of those seasons that you would truly have an appreciation for the kids and, and my staff. Is it different this time that you can look in your locker room and you see, you know everyone but two are back? Uh, I don't. I, not necessarily. You know, it's disappointing because you work your can off the entire year and the hours that you put in. and. Um, and then just not have it on the right. Thanks, Thanks Lori. Thanks. Thank